Human computer interaction is like a fascinating conversation between humans and machines. Imagine being at a lively party where the gadgets are your fellow guests. When the interaction is smooth, it feels like chatting with a friend. The words flow, the understanding is mutual and the experience is delightful. On that note, hello everyone. Welcome to the session on human computer interaction. In this session, we'll be discussing what HCI is its interdisciplinary nature and its practical applications in the real world. Before we get started with the topic, please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel and hit the bell icon to stay updated on the latest tech content by Edureka. Also, take a look at the Human Computer Interaction for AI Systems Design course offered by Edureka in India in collaboration with the University of Cambridge Online. This course equips students with skills to create user-friendly experiences for AI-powered systems and focuses on HCI principles. This course is curated and developed in partnership with University of Cambridge Online, ensuring participants receive a certificate of achievement from the university and access placement assistance from Edureka. Once you finish the Human-Computer Interaction for AI Systems Designs course, you will get a certificate from the University of Cambridge Online that's well respected in the industry. Taking the lead at University of Cambridge course online is Professor Per Ola Christensen. He serves as a professor of Interactive Design Systems Engineering within the Department of Engineering at the University of Cambridge and is additionally recognized as a Fellow of Trinity College, Cambridge. To know more details about the course curriculum and the skills it covers, please check the course link provided in the description box below. Without any further delay, let's get started with the topic. Human-Computer Interaction studies the design and use of computer technology, focusing on the interfaces between people and computers. It aims to improve usability and user experience by making computers more user-friendly and creating better ways for users to interact with systems. Human-computer interaction is a multidisciplinary field that focuses on the design and use of computer technology centered around the interactions between humans and computers. It involves the study, planning and design of the interaction between people and computers. Why is HCI required? Understanding user needs and context. Researchers and designers study and analyze the needs, preferences and context of users through methods like interviews, observations and surveys. Designing interactive systems. Based on insights from user research, interactive systems are designed. This involves creating interfaces, interactions and experiences that enable users to achieve their goals effectively and enjoyably. Evaluating designs. Once a design is implemented, it's crucial to evaluate its effectiveness through usability testing, analytics and feedback from users. This helps in identifying areas for improvement, ensuring that the system remains user-centered and meets its intended goals. What is HCI interdisciplinary field? HCI is a nexus where computer science meets psychology, design and social sciences. It's a mashup of disciplines brought together by a shared goal. Improving human-computer interaction. This multidisciplinary area uses psychology to understand user behavior, design to build intuitive interfaces and social sciences to study technology's societal influence resulting in an integrated approach to technology design and implementation. HCI in Computer Science Human-Computer Interaction in Computer Science focuses on the design and use of computer technology centered around the interfaces between people and computers. User-Centered Design HCI heavily emphasizes a user-centric approach in designing interactive systems to ensure they are usable and accessible. Interaction Design It explores how users interact with computers and to design interfaces that provide a good user experience. Usability and Accessibility Usability aims at making systems easy to use, efficient and enjoyable. Evaluation Techniques Various methods such as heuristic evaluation, 
cognitive walkthroughs and usability testing are used to access the usability of systems. HCI in psychology. Human-computer interaction is deeply intertwined with psychology as it helps in understanding how humans interact with computers and other technologies aiming to improve user experience and interface design. Cognitive psychology. It studies mental processes such as perception, memory, problem solving and decision making which are crucial for understanding how users interact with computer systems. Behavioral psychology. Observes how users behave while interacting with technology. Emotional and social psychology. Studies emotions and social dynamics which can influence user interactions with technology. Ergonomics and human factors. Focuses on optimizing the interaction between users and systems by understanding human behavior. HCI in design. Human-computer interaction holds a pivotal role in the field of design, aiming to create user-centric interfaces and experiences. User-centric design At the heart of HCI is the principle of designing with the user in mind. This involves understanding user needs, preferences and behaviors to create interfaces that are intuitive and enjoyable to use. User experience and user interface design UX design focuses on enhancing user satisfaction by improving usability and accessibility, while UI design is concerned with the aesthetic aspects of the interface. Prototyping and testing HCI emphasizes the importance of prototyping and iterative testing to evaluate design concepts and refine interfaces based on user feedback. Usability evaluation Evaluating the usability of a system to ensure it meets the desired user experience goals is a key aspect of HCI. This can be achieved through various methods such as heuristic evaluation, usability testing and user interviews. HCI in Social Science Human-computer interaction intersects with social sciences in several meaningful ways, offering a lens through which to examine the impact of technology on individuals and communities. Understanding Social Context HCI researchers often delve into the social context in which technologies are used. This helps in understanding how different cultural, societal and organizational settings influence the use and impact of technologies. Technology Adoption and Diffusion Insights from social sciences help HCI researchers understand the factors that contribute to the adoption and diffusion of new technologies within communities. Social computing. This area explores how people use technologies in social contexts. It encompasses studies on social networks, online communities and other platforms where social interaction is central. Ethnographic studies. Ethnography, a method borrowed from anthropology, is used in HCI to observe and analyze how people interact with technology in their natural settings providing rich insights into the user experience. HCI design process or human-computer interaction design process is a methodology used to solve problems and design solutions that focus on the end user's needs and experiences. Empathize. This is the stage where designers work to understand the user's needs, emotions and behaviors. This often involves interviews, observations and other forms of user research to gather insights and develop an understanding of user challenges and needs. Define. In this stage, the insights gathered during the empathized phase are analyzed to identify the core problems or challenges that need to be addressed. The goal is to define a clear problem statement that is user-centered. Ideate. This is a brainstorming phase where designers generate a wide variety of ideas and solutions for the defined problem. Various techniques like brainstorming, mind mapping and others are used to come up with creative solutions. Prototype In the prototype stage, designers create low fidelity or high fidelity prototypes of the solutions generated during the ideate phase. These prototypes are tangible or interactive representations of the ideas which allow both designers and users to interact with the proposed solutions. Test 
This is the phase where the prototypes are tested with the end users to gather feedback and insights. The feedback is then used to refine the prototypes and solutions, leading to further iterations of prototyping and testing until a satisfactory solution is developed. Key Components of HCI Input Gadgets Input devices communicate with the computer. Keyboards, touchscreens, voice recognition systems, and gesture-based systems are examples of such devices. They allow users to operate the system and offer input to the computer. Devices that produce output. Monitors, speakers, printers, and haptic devices are examples of gadgets that offer feedback to the user. They let the computer deliver visual, audio, or tactile feedback to the user, helping them to grasp the outcomes of their activities. The user interface. The user interface is a component of a system that allows users to interact with the computer. Graphical user interfaces, command line interfaces, and natural language interfaces are all part of it. Designing interactions. This design demonstrates how users interact with computers. Planning the user interface, choosing acceptable input and output devices, and planning how the computer responds to human input are all part of the process. Usability research. Real users are asked to evaluate a system during usability testing. It entails activities including monitoring how users interact with the system, gathering feedback, and finding areas for improvement. Accessibility. Accessibility means creating interfaces that anybody, regardless of physical ability, can use. Human aspects. This research looks at how human interacts with technology. It considers cognitive load, attention, perception, and memory. And it aims to understand how these elements impact HCI system design. Augmented virtual reality. AR and VR are transforming the way we interact with computers and the world around us. AR overlays digital information onto the real world, while VR creates a completely immersive virtual environment. Voice assistants Voice assistants like Siri, Alexa and Google Assistant are making it easier than ever for people to interact with computers. Voice assistants like Siri, Alexa, and Google Assistant are making it easier than ever for people to interact with computers. Voice assistants can be used to control devices, search for information, and perform tasks like sending messages and setting alarms. Wearable devices Wearable devices like smart watches and fitness trackers are becoming increasingly popular. These devices collect data about our health and activity levels, which can be used to improve our fitness and well-being. Natural Language Processing NLP is a field of computer science that deals with the interaction between computers and human language. NLP is used to develop systems that can understand and generate human language. With this, we have come to the end of this video, and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell icon to never miss any tech content by Edureka. Thank you for watching and keep learning. I hope you have enjoyed listening to this video. Please be kind enough to like it and you can comment any of your doubts and queries and we will reply them at the earliest. Do look out for more videos in our playlist and subscribe to Edureka channel to learn more. Happy learning!